Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you're enjoying your day. Um, wanted to do my PSA reveal that came back. Um, it actually came back last week, but I didn't get a chance to go pick it up till today. Um, the other four cards I had there came back. I have so much more that I need to send in. Um, but I have some shuffling I need to do. Um, just want to go through these, and then we'll have our opening after that. Um, so... When I sent these in, um, they were all very much on the border of, is it a 9, is it a 10? Um, that's kind of why I took a shot on this one. Um, I've actually, all these I had uh, pulled myself except the one I'll go over. Um, this is the only number wander that I have pulled so far this year. Um, and it's actually kind of a, a really sharp looking card. Um, this one is out of... $3.99, no, $4.99, I'm sorry, the greens are $4.99, um, is a nine, it's worth eh, 30 to 40 bucks, um, so unfortunately, you know, kind of lost out on this one, um, but it was definitely worth a shot, I think in the long term, it'll, it'll do real well, it's got, you know, two very young, promising players on it, um, and, Hang on to it for a while. Um, this next one um, I actually bought at the Madison Card Show uh, some time ago, uh, right when these first came out. And the guy actually had, uh, it was two for sure, if not three. And I picked this one because this was the, the best centered one out of the three he had. Um, I knew it had a good chance to uh, 10 at the time. This one is currently about a $70 card. Um, but there aren't a whole lot of these. I didn't check the pop report yet on these, but uh, they're like, they're obviously not super plentiful. Um, so this will be a good one to hold as well. Um, this one here, um, uh, got out of a hanger box, uh, a couple years ago and totally forgot I even had it and just happened to be going through my cards one day and I was like, right after, um... Young Dolph was killed, obviously, that kind of made me mm -mm, search, because I was like, I feel like I have one of those, and of course, I did. Um, is a 9, it's about a $70 card. Uh, it was, it looks super clean, I was hoping it was going to be a 10, they're about 240 as a 10. Um, so, was really disappointed in this one. Um, this was going to kind of be my, my one that covered the whole bunch, um, but unfortunately, it came back as a 9. Um, However, this next one, um, I pulled <clears throat> about four years ago, and I actually totally forgot I even had it. I bought the box, ripped it, just put all of the cards back in the boxes. It was when I was, like, was very first getting my feet back into uh, starting to collect some cards. And when he was really going on his rampage for his MVP season... Um, I knew I had this card in, like, draw at the time. It was, like, almost, like, a $700 card. It was wild. Um, and I knew it was super clean. I wanted to send it in. He's, I expect Lamar to have a big year this year. You know, he's playing for contract. He's, you know, choosing to negotiate on his own behalf. Doesn't want to, you know go into the season with that looming over his head so I expect him to really have a good year um and I, I really hope this will get back up to you know that $700 range uh just with several good weeks uh, I'm not saying he'll be MVP by any means but you know if he can finish top two or top three um it will definitely be a solid card so overall uh, for what I got into it is especially you know just raw value wise uh it was worth it I wish you know the the job when it came back as a 10 and that would have you know made the whole set but it is what it is anyways let's get into this uh just getting into me my hanger boxes of series two let's hope for the best all right here we go Um, 
had the majority of my luck with hanger boxes. They've been real nice to me. Uh, so they're always kind of my my go-to for any type of opening that I like to do. This is actually my first one of these. So we'll see how it goes. We got uh, Chad Cool, Mark Calls Ferry, Kyle Farmer, Kevin Gossman, Bradley Zimmer, uh, Jake Fraley, Fenway Fireworks, Antonio Senzatela, Dylan Carlson, Justin Verlander, Tommy Edmond, uh, JT Brubaker, the Brewers, Dodgers, uh, Postseason Passion, Charlie Blackman, Aaron Hicks, Odubel Herrera, uh, Red Sox, Carter Keyboom, Lewin Diaz, looks like we got a green, Jake Cronenworth, Garrett Richards, Ronald Torres, Justin Brewell, Anthony Santander, Elvis Andrews, AJ Alexi, William Contreras. <clears throat> we have a green Carlos Correa. Oh, look at that. We got a, a vintage stock. This is actually the first one I've ever pulled of these. Uh, Joe Adele. Stars Giancarlo. Stars Miguel Cabrera. Uh, stars Ozzy Elsbys. Stars Edos Garcia. 87 Ronald Cooney Jr. No hit Justin Verlander. Uh, Kevin Newman. Brian Miller. Uh, Jeff Hoffman. Evan Longoria. Austin Gomber. Edmundo Sosa, Lance McCullers Jr., Dane Dunning, Jesus Aguiar, Turk Scooball, Gavin Lux, man, these things are ever. Mark Melanson, Hans Cruz, Rafael Ortega, Bryce Wilson, Ravar San Martin, Nathan Evaldi, Reese Hoskins, Yanni Hernandez, Guillermo Heredia, Gary Sanchez, Gerardo Parra, Fran Reyes, High Five Highway, Taylor Trammell, Tanner Hulk, Ranger Suarez, Marcos Diplon, DJ Stewart, uh, Stephen Scotty, and ending with a Greg Dykeman. So uh, I would say for me that's a pretty average box of these hangers. Uh, generally I'll get one numbered in there. <clears throat> uh, usually a nice you know other insert to go with it. Obviously, you have your assortment of rookies and everything like that. So, I think value-wise, it's definitely there for me. Um, always a fan of the number cards. Um, but that's all for today. A uh, little bit longer, just kind of going over the PSA reveal. So, thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. I hope you enjoy the start of your weekend. I will see all of you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.